In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, fall's right around the corner and we are hunting for fall finds. And we end up coming across some really cool stuff along the way. So if you're ready for a shopping adventure, then let's go ahead and dive into this week's episode. One quick note before we get started though, I just want to welcome you if you're new to Flea Market Rescue. My name's Kelly Sherry. I do a lot of home decor makeovers and furniture flips. I love taking you along as we go thrifting, garage sailing, and flea marketing. So if you're interested in learning how to do some of this, I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Now, I've been keeping my eye out for fall decor now for a few weeks because fall comes around so quick. If you've noticed in the stores, they're already changing and we're only into August. So when I was out shopping, I came across this pumpkin. I am kicking myself that I didn't get it. It just looked a little chippy and I was like, is that supposed to be like that? Is it not? Will people buy it? But now that I look at it, I probably should have bought it. He was $12.99, but he had a really unusual look. Oh, well. No use crying over spilled milk. Isn't that what they always say? I sure did find some good stuff that day, though. I mean, just look at this rooster canister. It's absolutely gorgeous. It was a little more on the pricey side at $13.99. However, it was a big canister, and I ended up doubling my money on it. I came across these vintage canisters. I thought they were really cool. They were only $8, and I thought, you know, why not? I ended up seeing these type of canisters at the flea market, and they wanted $20 for them. So at $8, I think this is a pretty good deal. And I'm probably going to end up painting them and doing something like a decal on the front. I think they'll be a pretty good seller. With fall just around the corner, we're definitely going to be using some of these bunt pans. Do you guys remember the trash to treasure I did last year where we used these? That was such a popular video. I think that was my highest viewed trash to treasure episode. If you haven't had a chance to watch that, I'll leave a link in the description for you. Look at this, you guys. I love the frame on this. This would be so easy to make. All you'd have to do is find a little frame that you like at the thrift store, get a piece of burlap for the backing, and at the thrift store, you can always find letters. Find one that's either your last name or your first name, and you can easily make this yourself. I also came across this beautiful candlestick. It was only $3.99. You know I had to get it. While we're looking for things to decorate for fall, we might as well keep our eye out for Christmas because that's coming up next. I didn't end up getting this sleigh. It just looked a little too much like a swan to me. But that's okay. I'm sure we'll come across some more stuff along the way. I thought this was super cute. You could put sunflowers in there. You could put greenery. I had to get it. This is such a nice container. It reminds me of a butter dish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some vinyl letters that spell out butter and put it on the side. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is perfect for fall. I'm going to have to get this just for a display in my store. If you haven't heard, we're going to have a spectacular fall event on September 30th. I hope that you join us. We're going to have tons of fall decor, two tents, food, beverages, raffles, and a meet and greet. We're also going to partner with Two Hens and a Chick, which I love their barn. They have such amazing stuff and at such great prices. So they will be open on that day as well. That whole weekend, you can go and visit them. And they're going to have a lot of great fall decor. And the best part is they're literally five minutes from my shop. So make sure to mark that in your calendars. I hope to see you. And I'll leave all the information in the description. This is kind of cute too. I'm going to throw it in the basket. See, I knew it wouldn't be long before we'd find some more Christmas stuff. Fa la 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 la. Oh, you know I got this. You can tell it's a Christmas item, but it's not over the top. There's simplicity to it. Speaking of simplicity, remember what I told you about classic white or off-white candles? You want to always stock up on them. That way you'll have them. You never know when you're going to need a candle for something that you bought at the thrift store. And again, these are clean and classic. They literally go with everything. Now, you didn't think I got through this whole thrift store without buying a sign, did you? I thought this was really cute and I had to buy it. Then I found this sign that someone was trying to hide. This one said, enter as strangers and leave as friends. I thought this was the perfect sign for my shop and I was really sad when it sold. Although we only found a few holiday pieces, I still think we found a lot of great stuff. 
Oh, I see one more thing here. All right, I know this isn't fall and I know this isn't Christmas, but I think I'm gonna need this too. I think this would be a really good seller. I also searched for fall decor at the Salvation Army in Rochester. I think this gather sign is perfect for every day, but it's also great for fall too. I can see people gathering around the table, you know, pumpkins, Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna get this. Although this isn't fall, I have to get this because it has all the right colors in it and people love chickens. I sell out of chickens. I came across this shelf with these glass knobs, but one was missing and the other one had fallen off on the floor. No. Darn, this would have been really cute, but to get another glass knob to match these, it just wouldn't happen. They were smaller than actual real knobs. Now this picture I came across, oh my goodness, I thought it was so pretty and I love the harvest color in there. Now it could actually pass for summer or fall, so I picked it up. Now this apple or pear or whatever it is, I thought it was really interesting and I thought it was a great piece of home decor, but there was no price on it. But when I got up to the front, she told me it was going to be $30. You know that went back. Oh my gosh, it's an iron, you guys. It reminds me of Debbie. Old irons have a million uses. I use them to put on things when I'm gluing something or repairing something. I use them for door stops. I use them for a bookend for my cookbooks and stuff. Oh my. Now, this one here is $16.95 or is it $12.95? I don't know. They have two price tags on it. Even so, at $12 to $16, I really don't know how much I can make on this. I really like this wire basket and I think we're going to need to get this. These are pretty cool and they're a pair. They're $5.99 each, which makes that $12. That's not bad at all. A giant safety pin. Holy smokes. You don't come across these too often. I think this would be perfect for a baby shower. But since I don't know anyone who is having a baby shower, we are gonna pass on this. Oh, this is a really pretty wreath. This could possibly be good for fall. Oh, I don't have to think twice about these. Wow, these are perfect for Christmas. Now this is really cool. Put three candles in there. I'm not sure how much this is though. Oh, $20? No, we're gonna pass. Oh, look you guys, there's ice skates. I know we're supposed to be looking for fall, but you know what, I'm just stumbling on some Christmas, so you gotta buy it when you find it. $5.99, that's not bad at all. Although this wood piece is a little wobbly, this is a really good Christmas item. I mean, it's a sled, it's a candle holder. It has a great look to it. Now this is really charming. I think we're gonna have to get this too. This could really work with any season, but Christmas, it would really stand out. As I was walking around, I came across this. I was like, oh my gosh, this looks awesome. Then I saw the price, $19.95, and it had a chip in it. Not only could I not make money, but I'd have to fix it too. I always like going in the linens because you can find some throws that are really nice. And since we're looking for fall, I'm kind of keeping my eye out for a nice pumpkin color throw. These, however, are curtains and they are definitely not going to work for us. But again, you just got to keep your eye out when you're going through the linen aisle. You never know what you're going to find. And especially keep your eye out for the classic black and white throw. They will sell every time. I came across this family sign that sort of looks like those typeset blocks that you stamp with. And I didn't get this, but now that I'm looking at it, I really wish I had. Well, like I said earlier, no use crying over spilt milk. I think the reason I didn't get it was because it was $12.99 and that really is on the higher end. Another thing to look out for are white canisters. They go with everything and people really love them. These are not only white, but they have a natural wood lid to them. The combination of wood and the white ceramic go perfectly together. Now let's just see how much these are though. Whoa, okay, so at $24.99, you're really not gonna make a whole lot on these, so we're gonna leave them on the shelf. Now this is a nice classic bowl. It's only $2.99, so it's right up our alley. You could plant a plant in it. You could add a decal in the front. There's a lot of possibilities. Another place I've found some great home decor is at White Lake Salvation Army. 
Although this is a chicken and not a turkey, this has the perfect harvest color and it would be great to put out during fall. That is, if this wasn't $15.95. And for that reason, I did pass on this item. However, you wanna keep your eye out for things that have this kind of traditional fall coloring. I did come across this wonderful grapevine pumpkin and that is something I definitely wanna get. I also found this terracotta pumpkin. It's a great price at $2.49, but it is a little pale, so I don't know if I'm gonna do something with it. What a cute little ghost dish. You know where that's going. Oh wow, this is pretty grand. I have to say that this tile has a Christmas feel to it, doesn't it? Now I know it's $19.99, but this thing is mammoth. I'm thinking I might even be able to get $48 for it, so I think I'm gonna buy this. I love this chair print. I can see that in a bedroom. We might have to get this. I thought this was really cool with a snowflake, but I couldn't figure out what it was. I'm thinking it was like a votive holder without the glass. And if that was true, then I would have to find a glass that would fit perfectly into that. I just kind of decided to pass on that. Oh, you know how I love dress forms. Oh, now these are cute. I told you you could find a lot of letters at the thrift store. I always pick up these and signs, but this one's a little weird with these little slats in it. All right, we might have to get this for $3.99. Oh, look at this kitchen sign. I really like this. I'm gonna get that. As fast as I get cheap, they're sold. But this one is a little different. It's a little weird, right? Hmm, what is this, some kind of box? I might need to think about this one. Knock, knock. Wow, these are awesome. They're heavy, they feel like they're cast iron. Yep, I'm afraid that's gonna have to go in the basket too. This is kinda neat. Oh wow, at first I thought this was just the basket, but look at, there's a chicken. That's pretty cool. Now this could make a nice Christmas basket. Oh, and it's only $2.99. I love these kind of trees. This is only $3.99. These are pretty neat too. Oh, I wasn't expecting this one, but hey, you know, Easter's gonna come around again soon too. Oh yeah, this is only $4.99, I have to get it. This is kind of cool, I'm liking this. You could put it with a lot of different things. You know what my mom likes to do? She'll take a tall candlestick and she likes to put those balls, whether it's a moss ball or something like this, right on top. All right, here we go, here's some fall. Oh, now this is really nice because you could put this on a table and put a big chunky candle in the middle and it'll look very festive. Oh, this is a really nice wood tray. I think we might need to get this. Starlight, star bright. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great for Christmas. This would be great to have for storage. I love the natural jute look. And at $4.99, I think that's something we might need to get. I came across this vase and immediately I thought, wow, very high end. But then I looked at it a little more and I thought, I don't know, would someone buy this? Then I saw the price it was $14.99, so I just kind of was on the fence about it. In the end, I ended up just passing on it. On my way out, I ended up coming across this chicken mold and I had to get it. I mean, for $3.99, how could I not? 
On my way home from the Salvation Army, I stopped at the Grace Centers of Hope in Waterford. This is where I found a Ray Dunn piece. It's a canister that says enjoy, and I sell Ray Dunn like crazy. I don't even have to tell you, you know I got it. I couldn't believe it. I came across another eat sign here that was faux distressed. This one was only $3.99. Their prices are so good here. Whenever I see old cutting boards, I always pick them up. This one is only $2.99. Oh look, some bells. I had such a hard time last year finding bells, so this was a great thing to stumble upon. I might have to get this. This is a great wire cage and it has some pulperary type things in there. Well, unfortunately, we only found a few fall pieces. We did find some other great stuff, but that is why it's so important to keep your eye out for these fall things, because if you're looking throughout the year, you're gonna have a nice collection of fall pieces for your customers. But if you're starting late, it's really hard to compete with other people who are also looking for fall decor. Now, just because we didn't find a whole lot this time, don't get discouraged because we're gonna go out again. As a matter of fact, the following week, I went to Utica Salvation Army where I found some great fall pieces. The first thing I came across was this light up jack-o'-lantern. And these right now at this time are going for $20 a piece on Facebook Marketplace. This was only $5.99, so at that price, we're definitely gonna get this. This also is another great pumpkin. I'm definitely gonna get this, but I am gonna paint it. I'm gonna paint it white and then paint the stem brown and I'm gonna add a decal. I did this last year in a trash to treasure using one of the decals that I sell in my Etsy store. So for me, getting this one is a no brainer. I came across this cute pumpkin that looks just like Thanksgiving and I definitely wanted to get that one too. Looks like we're doing pretty good down this aisle. I'm looking through this whole seasonal aisle. I don't want to miss anything. Like my mom always says, you have to look high and you have to look low. That's how people miss things by just kind of looking what is in the main aisle there right in the middle. He's coming home with me. I ended up finding this pumpkin and although it's weird with the marbling, I'm going to paint it and possibly put a decal on this too. I mean, for $1.99, what do we have to lose? Oh, is someone trying to hide from me? We are hitting the mother load of pumpkins, aren't we? I even found this pumpkin frame. I love this and I think this is gonna be a good seller too. You know, it would be cute and funny at the same time. Have your family dress up as pilgrims, put that in there. Hmm, pumpkin plates, maybe. Oh, hang on, I see something. It's another pumpkin. See how these things hide on you? That's why you have to really look. I can't even get this thing out of here. Oh, there we go. I can't believe the amount of pumpkins they have here. Now, normally you would never find this many in one spot, but someone must have dropped a whole bunch off. Here's another one of those weird marbled ones, but we're still gonna get it because we can paint it. Well, that's about all the fall that I found so far, but let's take a look around. We're already here. Oh, this is a nice big white pitcher. I'll tell you what, I sell these white pitchers as fast as I get them. This one is $8.99, but we definitely could double our money. Oh, I really love this. And we can use this during Christmas time. We could stuff some Santa's letters in there, maybe some pine. All is bright. This is definitely great for Christmas, and I think we're going to need to get it. It's $1.99.
Oh, this is really awesome. Follow your heart. I can't resist a good and sign. This wouldn't be bad to get because you can make your own sign. And it's already perfectly distressed. I'm thinking we need to get this lantern. It's only $4.99. Okay, this is kind of interesting and weird at the same time. At $5.99, I'm willing to take the gamble on this one. Now, I was telling you guys how I love these faux furs, but you just can't wash them, and a lot of them look dirty. What was funny is you guys let me know in the comments that, yes, you can wash them. You just can't dry them. So next time, I'm definitely going to pick up a faux fur that I like, and I'm going to try it. So thank you guys for that tip, because I'm really missing out on a lot of faux furs. Remember how I told you guys to keep an eye out for throws? People really love buying these throws. However... I bought this one and it was like a poncho. <laughs> so you really have to take it off the hanger, really look at it because now I'm a proud owner of a poncho. I came across these corbels and they're really beautiful. I put them in my shop and they were sold within two days. Corbels are a really good seller. However, they're hard to find though. So when you find them, make sure you pick them up. I found another cow creamer and of course I picked it up because these are good sellers as well. I came across this really pretty berry wreath, however there was like this tree card holder that was kind of stuck and I was trying to get that off just so I could look at the berry wreath, but you know what, that was pretty neat too. The bottom of it looked a little messed up so I didn't end up getting it, but I did get the berry wreath. My last stop was at the Grace Centers of Hope in Sterling Heights. The first thing I came across were these metal pine cone candle holders. They were only $2.99 and they would be perfect for Christmas. Yep, they're going to need to go in the basket. I then came across this spooky, sparkly spider sign and it was only $2.99 so I had to get this as well. I love this sign too but then I looked and it was $9.99 so I decided to pass on it. This can was really cool too, but it was $12.99, so I wasn't about to get that either. I found these cute little plants. They were only $1.99, so those I decided to get. I came across this harvest time sign, and I was so excited because it was big, and I thought, well, if I just sand it and paint it, it'll be fine. I mean, all the work had already been done. It was already assembled, it had a base, and it was large. Now it was $17.99, so I was like, should I get it, should I not? Then I decided to ask them, do you have like a percentage off on home decor? And that's when they told me that tomorrow was senior day and everything was half off. Oh heck yeah, because earlier when I walked in the store, I saw these two horse heads that I wanted, but it was $14.95. Oh, you know I'll be back tomorrow. Now I did buy the sparkly spider sign because I thought maybe that might be gone by the time I got there. And then the acorn candlesticks, they weren't that much, so I bought those as well. But the rest was gonna wait for tomorrow. I set my alarm and I was back the next day. I was so happy to see the horse heads were still there. I hurried up and put them in the basket and then I was off looking for those other items that were there the previous night. Just out of curiosity, I wanted to see how much this was. I did not see it the night before, but there it was in the window when I was walking in. Only $12.99 and half off. This is the ultimate fall piece. Can you say winner, winner, chicken dinner? Oh my gosh. I grabbed the sign, Be Our Guest, for $5. I felt like I was winning. Yay, the can was still there, so we picked that up for $6.50. The Harvest Time Pumpkin was now $9. I can't tell you how thrilled I am. I was actually wondering how I was going to get it in the basket. I came across this family sign, which I did not see the night before, and that was only a dollar. These mixing bowls have been here for a while. I keep looking at them, but today they were $2.50, so I had to get them. This is better than a garage sale. I also came across this face, and I thought, why not? It's $2.00. Now I did look at this mercury glass candlestick, but I just didn't want to spend $6 on it, so I passed on that. This stool was only $3.99, which would make it $2, you guys. I had to get this stool too. I couldn't believe all the great stuff I got at half off. 
like you just couldn't beat it. I was on a roll and I wanted to go to one more thrift store. Right away, I came across this metal shelf. It was so awesome. And it was only $5.99. I came across this metal pocket, which I thought was pretty interesting. But I really love this wooden stool that I came across. My mom has one in her kitchen and it's painted black and that's what I'm gonna do is paint this one black. I found this Mother Teresa saying on a wooden key. I thought it was pretty cool, but in the end I ended up not getting it because I wasn't sure if it would be a good seller. Love the saying though. Now this is really different. Oh wow, look at this metal clock. I actually just sold one just like this. This one's brand new, I'm gonna pick it up. Sleigh rides, five cents. As cute as this is, I'm gonna have to pass on it because it's scratched up. If you look at the five cents, it's scratched. Now, it's very hard to kind of fix this on enamel, so I'm gonna pass on that. But it would have been the perfect Christmas sign. This is a nice big mercury glass candlestick. Oh, cotton stems. These are perfect to put like in jugs, you know, especially those clear ones. All this needs is like some kind of wood cut out in the center. It can be a sheep or I can even do like maybe some kind of lettering. I'm definitely going to buy this lantern because it's going to be great for fall or Halloween. I even came across two taller lanterns. That would be perfect for Christmas. These terracotta pumpkins, they remind me of something from Pottery Barn. Oh, another lantern here and I'm going to get this too because again, fall and Halloween. This might be a nice candle for Christmas. It's nice and chunky and it has the perfect color. Oh wow, this is perfect for a tree. It's brand new. It says, have a very merry Christmas. We could use this even as a display in the store. Yep, I'm getting it. What do we have here? Oh, this would be awesome, like on a table. There's four candle holders. You could put some candles in there. It has all the fall colors. I think I might have to get this. Oh, look, you guys, another pumpkin. Okay, this is more like a candle, and it looks like it's been used. That's cute. This looks like it's a little worn out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put this back. These would be good for a trash to treasure, like for Christmas. Yep, they have the smaller ones inside. Now I put this one in my cart, but before I purchased it, I took it off the hanger and guess what? It was another poncho. You guys gotta be careful about that because sometimes they're not throws. I did get this one, however. This one reminded me of like a tweed kind of throw, and it was between like a grayish green, so it could even go for Christmas. Here we have another tin pocket. I'm gonna get this. Now, I was kind of really liking this table, and then I was like, uh, I don't know, is it weird? So I just passed on that. This tray though, it's awesome. I'm totally getting this. You know how you just want to hit one more thrift store? Well, if you're game, I'm game. All right, let's do this. Just one more. The next thrift store is where I came across this Merry Christmas canvas calendar. It's very simple. It's not over the top, and I really like it. I found these piece blocks, too, but I don't know. I'm thinking about possibly making them into snowmen. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, I like him. He's cute. He needs to be touched up a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, this is pretty. I need this. Only $5.99? Heck yeah. 
Oh, I think I spotted another Ray Dunn piece. Do I need this turkey? I don't know. Is it too weird? Or maybe it's cool. I don't know. It's hard to decide. TikTok. You know how I love my clocks. Oh my gosh. This one really stood out to me because it's just all wood. I love the black letters. I'm going to get it. See, aren't you glad we went? One thing I know I'm getting is this. This is an awesome cake stand and it's only $5.99. It's coming home with me. All right, you see this globe? We can paint the base black. We can add a crow in there, maybe some branches. This is going to be perfect for Halloween. Well, as you can see, I have been on the hunt for fall decor, and I cannot wait for September 30th when we have our big fall event at the store. Again, I hope you can join us. We're going to have tons of fall decor, two tents, food and beverages, raffles, and a meet and greet. And don't forget, two hens and a chick, they will be also open at the same time so you can run over there and visit them. They're going to have a lot of great stuff. So make sure to mark that in your calendars. I hope to see you and I'll leave all the information in the description. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry and this has been Flea Market Rescue.